All right, welcome to beta release number four of the software that they are designing overseas for our Ultra VP. So it's been a little over a week since we posted the last video. So what's been going on behind the scenes is that they've been adding a lot of tables. So we are getting to about 800 tables right now. And as you can see, some of the videos on the menu system have changed. So on the visual pinball um, categories, you can see the back glass video has changed and it looks really nice. We are also looking at having added an additional category where the tables are now in and that's the uh, non flipper category so here as you can see now this is the non flipper category if I go in here you have the series of tables in here now that are non flipper related um, alley cats aristocrat ice cold beer here and as you can see, also something that's happening is the toppers are being added more and more. So we have uh, we have a bunch of toppers that are now appearing on top and they actually will stay when we load the table. So as you can see, this Williams um, topper, if I load this table up here, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to have let fun. that happen here uh, in about a minute we will have this game up and running. Well, it doesn't take that long, actually. It should about take about 10 seconds. You'll see that that topper on top is a, a neon that flickers and just has a generic Williams logo on top. And that is going to stay when the game is also running. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. Uh, you, uh, As you can see, you can move this with your flippers back and forth. And then all you have to do is launch it. There you go. So I'm gonna jump back out of here. So all the categories now, including the racing category here, have the topper running on top with the Ultra VP logo. That's new as well. So as, as, I, as I shift through these different categories, that is now completed. So I would say we are about 90% done now. It's uh, just a matter of adding uh, uh, additional toppers uh, is what they are doing. And once that's done, it's just a matter of doing a little bit more testing, creating a recovery partition so that we cannot break this hard drive in case something goes wrong uh, at the consumer level. And so that way you can recover the image file back to its original state and that will take care of it and we'll be announcing it as a final release 1.0 something that uh, they are doing that we've decided would be a good idea would be to add an additional category called for kids so that's being worked on right now So these are all the categories, including the original category here, which is beautiful. All right. So what you will notice on the tables, I think they got up until table number, I think it's like letter S right now, where the toppers are actually showing now properly. Like for example, on the table like this, which is an old Gottlieb 300 table, what they've decided to do is just put that Gottlieb uh, neon sign up on top and when the table actually loads to keep it that way. It's literally a neon sign that flickers on and off. It's pretty cool. But on the tables that have other things that are more meaningful, like this one would have the Bali logo as you can see. Gottlieb again. Williams. Again, another Williams here. So that's, that's being added. Data East. Gottlieb. 
And then for ACDC tables, you can see that the ones that have toppers that are a little bit more advanced, those, those will show up. This one happens to have a video of a concert playing. So I'm going to go through the A letters A's here that are all done, and that gives you a good understanding of what that looks like in the previews. And remember, anything that plays on the toppers now on this version remains active during gameplay. So this, for example, if I were to load this table, I'm I will do that now. Have fun. That particular topper, which is made for this table, will remain in place. So give it a few more seconds for it to load. There we are. So now I just have to add some coins. And let's get started. Remember, most of these tables are now in the very latest releases. They are in here, at, if there's a pup pack version, you'll have the standard version and the pup pack version available. They're extremely fast, extremely smooth. There's uh, really nothing more to be desired. I mean, these things are incredibly well made now. As time goes on, uh, this version of the software is going to progress. When there's a new pup pack that is released, of course, that will be added to the software. Right now, I think the, uh, this Aerosmith table doesn't exist with a pup pack. Also, something they did is they put all these tables into the right category. So let me actually show you this as well. If you go to... Um, back to the playlists here and I go to music there we go as you can see the music category looks beautiful and I will jump into it there we go and so all these tables we just went through are here under the music category so you'll see everything that's music related it's all here I need somebody help, not just Also, the uh, Elvis tables are incredible. I mean, they have really improved the version from the previous old version of our software. We've added the grease table here with pop packs. Guns N' Roses has a few versions. Iron Maiden. Kiss exists as a few versions here as well. Here you have your Metallica original table, and then you have the um, different versions, the 4K version here, beautiful. Now see, that one still is missing uh, the um, topper, and that's because that's letter M. They haven't gotten to that letter yet, so I think they uh, stopped at about letter S here for this. Some do, some don't, it just depends. So I think we'll be done here adding tables and um, starting some testing in about a week. So three Pink Floyd tables. So these are all the, the music tables that have been added into that category, so it's quite a few. Not done yet, we're uh, at letter T. And then there's these, this Van Halen table, so that's that. Another thing that they decided to do, and I totally agree with that, is anything that's too gory or too adult related, like Big Bang Bar is a good example of a, a table that I think most parents wouldn't want their kids to see or play. So what, that's, what we've done is they have relegated those tables into the 18 plus category here. And that category, as you can see, still has two top, the top are playing the same thing as the back glass that's going to be modified and changed in the next release. But in there, you'll find Big Bang Bar. And when it's in here, 
they, that particular table cannot be found in any other category. So that's important. And I think we're going to find things like uh, the pup pack edition of Nightmare on Elm Street. That's very gory and bloody. That one will be in here. But the standard Nightmare on Elm Street will be in the horror category, which will not be password protected. Also, the top 50 category is complete now. So all 50 tables that belong in there are in there. We uh, took out the Big Bang Bar uh, out of this category, like I mentioned, because we don't want it 